mostly because for when people are hitting you or can hit you, have the opportunity to hit you. It's a good way to control the posture and start getting them to do things with their hands and their arms. Um, it opens up a bunch of different triangle like variations and different like back takes and sweeps and it's a really deep system in and of itself and it's a guard for there's like full guard and half guard variations or three quarter guard however you want to look at that for new jersey or new york but mostly it is it's for control so if you if you've been a gi person then you would know what it feels like when it's taken away from you. Some of you guys have never really had that experience, so it doesn't really, you don't know anything different, so it's cool, whatever. But if you've historically trained in the gi, you would pull up on people's lapels and grab sleeves, and it gives you like a, an extra control point that, you know, it, it's, it's really beneficial if you know how to use it and kind of control it, and people can just slip out a lot easier in no gi so you can you can look at that a couple different ways is that you know it's just people slipping sliding around a little bit or that you need to work on maybe getting a little bit tighter sometimes with your positioning uh you know it's just a different kind of thing and i think the rubber guard really gives you a look into like a no gi guard variation like a, a full guard variation because basic like closed guard stuff is pretty hard to hit on most people they don't they don't really give you the basic full guard stuff anymore um but if i can get you in here Seth, one of the things that we have worked on a little bit lately is that when we can't really get him to give us that overhook and stuff uh and maybe he's already just like staying down into this this posture he knows that i want to get um get that overhook probably for my rubber guard and maybe he's also seen me go for the uh homie control stuff that we've been working on too right and so honestly like this right here that like we've talked about a lot of times he is trying to like pummel that arm back out because he doesn't want to let me jack it up on him and stuff so i'm just really trying to get into a fight with this one elbow sort of and if i could ever scoop this leg just a little bit okay as he's trying to like pull his arm back i'm starting to go for my spider web style hook and pulling him up out of his base with this and with my legs Okay, I would, I would do that same sweep we've been kind of doing, but honestly in here, I really like bringing this up and over and trying to catch this over his head, okay? Obviously I'm pinching my knees the whole time. I'm driving both feet down, okay? And then going out into his head. I'm not like straightening my legs out to push him away. They're both curled and pulled in. And then if I sit up, I'm still driving and curling in everything the whole way. Right, I'm not, I'm not like hitting him with a straight leg right here. Cause I'm, I'm pulling it, I don't want him to get away. And if I need to dump him, I just kind of throw that leg over, set on my marriage uniform.